Welcome back to GB Guns. Exciting trip to the gun store recently to pick up a gun that I have been waiting for since seeing it at SHOT Show 2016. The Caracol Enhanced Model F. And that's what's coming up next. Alright, so taking a look, let's open the box. There's the pistol. We'll get to that in a moment. I want to show you what else you get. Two magazines. They're both 18 rounders with windows at the 5, 9, 13, and 18 mark. We have the trigger lock. We have a manual printed on some nice thick paper. Not illustrated. Well, some illustrations. But uh, let's face it, if you are buying one of these guns, this is not your first gun. This is a gun for somebody who's like me and is looking for something different, most likely. This is pretty cool. Caracol and Otis got together for the cleaning kit. This isn't your standard plastic rod. Instead, you're getting one of Otis's flexible cables and a variety of different ends. You've got your brush, you've got a solid end portion, you've got a jag, you've got a nylon brush, as well as some Otis lube, and the patches, It's pretty cool. Let's get this out of the way and focus on the real reason we're here, the handgun. Alright, so this is a limited edition of the Enhanced F model. This one has a frame from Caracol International. The slide and internals are made here in the U.S. Later production runs will be entirely U.S. made, which is kind of cool. Let's show clear and take a look around the gun. We've got some good serrations up here for a press check. Slides open very nicely. Got a clear chamber. Let's check for mag magazine ejection. It's a little, a little soft. But you notice I'm able to push it from both sides because we've got ambidextrous magazine release which I appreciate because I like using the middle finger. So, now that we're clear, let's start at the front. Rather square face with slight barrel protrusion. Little side to side movement. Checking underneath, we have one rail spot. Nice low profile slide, very smooth lines. No serrations on the front of the trigger guard, but plenty of grip texturing on the uh, stock itself. Trigger is a blade safety type. Low profile slide release, but still within reach, controls in reach, which is fine. Notice how high up it lets you get your hand underneath the slide and how short that slide seems to be. Gets you up deep in there. Now the quick sight system that you see here is somewhat reminiscent of gutter snipe system. The concept here is that it's a lot faster to get generally on target. It's probably going to take some getting used to. I know it's an odd thing to a lot of us, uh, but that's why I asked for it. The current production is splitting these, by the way, uh, some with this system, some with traditional sights. So if you are intimidated by something different, don't worry. You can get that option out there too. I'm curious to try it out. I think it's uh, interesting. This cut here, by the way, lets you still rack off of a belt or table or whatnot if you ended up doing one-handed racking, uh, though it is not cut for a optic or rear sight. Nice clean machining. Different looking gun. Let's see how that trigger feels. So, we take up the safety. Comes back and just kind of breaks. There was no perceivable wall. Reset. It's a fighting reset. It's a little lengthy. And takes you back to squeeze through there. Interesting. I'm curious. I'm sure the comments are going to start flowing on this. I love having uh, different 
things, and I bet you haven't seen one of these out and about, at least not in some time. Next, we'll field strip it. So to field strip the enhanced F from Caracol, we've got our levers here, like a claw. Pull back a little bit, down on those. Pull, maybe I didn't need to pull the trigger. Let's try that again. If I pull back a little, and down here. Now, you do need to pull the trigger for the slide to come off. Nice lengthy rail section. Very clean and purest internals, which is nice. The simpler things are, the more reliable they are likely to be. Plenty big ejector there. Guide rod and the spring is a flat spring, which is kind of the standard these days. Captured spring on a polymer rod. Taking a look at our barrel. Very clean machining. Nice polish there to the front of the ramp. We'll check our chamber fit, which as always, we use our Nosler match. Dropping around in the chamber. And if the camera will cooperate with us, you, go. you can see chamber support all the way around. Fits nicely and loosely, which adds for some reliability. It sometimes can impact accuracy, but we'll see how that goes. I like that kind of gray hue to it. Slightly different color. Looking at our slide, very sleek, short slide. Nice and cleanly produced as well. Interesting. This, I think, will be a fun one to try shooting. What do, uh, in fact, something I just noticed putting this back together. Look at the depth there, the front of the slide, the part that slides over the barrel as the barrel locks and locks out of place. It's nice and thick. There's a lot of heavy duty construction on here. So, as I get this back together, I'd like to hear what you guys think about this. Give me some intelligent thought though, not uh, just the random, oh, I don't like it because it's different. How do you think this is going to shoot? What are your thoughts on it? Have you seen one yet? Do you know anyone that has one? I'm looking forward to getting this out to the range. We'll of course run some hot ammo through it, some inexpensive ammo through it, some hollow points, see how it performs all around. It's got a very futuristic design to it, and I, I do like that deep, high grip that it lets you get. I mean, there's barely anything poking over the back of the gun there. And you look at the slide-to-hand clearance. Nice and tight there. A lot of companies talk about low bore axis, and uh, I'm not sure if I always buy it. <laughs> Looking at the front, from barrel to slide, it's pretty tight. Let me know what your thoughts are. We'll get this out to the range soon. Thanks for watching.